Timbersurf here with vidbit number 19 and um, we're going to have a chat about sharpening stones. These are basically man-made stone that is designed to sharpen tools. They come in a variety of different grits usually numbered by a number. <laughs> um, the higher the number the finer the grit is. They can also be had in specialist shapes so that they can be used for things like chainsaws and um, the teeth of various tools etc and some even have a double layer so it's basically two grit sizes on one piece coarse on one side and fine on the other these days they're actually available as a file um, which is actually studded with tiny little industrial diamonds and they're not as expensive as you might think both do the same job and I'm going to show you how to use them. So what I'm going to show you here is me trying to cut a piece of tissue with my ordinary everyday modelling scalpel blade and as a further test something that's quite tough is a piece of scotch pad or dishcloth cleaner or whatever you want to call it and it doesn't do very well. So I will always go to my trusty little sharpening stone which you can see here is quite well used and I pre-wet it with oil a long time ago but you can use water if you've previously used oil or water on its own. What you do is you angle the blade so that the sharp bit that has been ground down to make it sharp is at the same angle but you want to improve the angle just lift it up slightly so that you're only actually grinding away the thin edge and not the whole surface and basically stroke it across sideways. I'm demonstrating it doing it quite quickly. You should go a lot slower until you get used to it, otherwise you will end up slicing your fingers off. I've had a lot of experience of doing this. And as you can see, I've counted how many times I've done it on one side of the blade, and then counted it the same number on the other side to do a lot of work. But you need to finish it off by changing sides and just doing two or three strokes because the process will leave a burr that you need to remove with those last few strokes. Now as you can see it didn't really do a terribly good job so I'm going to have another go. It's just a matter of judgment how many times you need to stroke it up and down. You'll begin to learn as you get more practice in. So I'm now having a second go at sharpening it up and we'll see what it does this time. Don't forget to clean it off. Same bit of paper. That's like a brand new blade. So simple, so effective and saves you having to change your blade at great cost and running out when you don't have any. Simple matter of resharpening your blade and you can do this dozens of times before you should maybe have a rounded end and at that point yeah time to get a new blade out. It works on any knife so your Stanley blades or your snappable ones etc doesn't matter what sort of knife it is they can all be sharpened which again means you don't have to replace them as often and instead of it going dull and trying to get your money's worth out of it and keeping going even though it's very dull all you have to do is to give it a few strokes on your stone in between doing two or three cuts on paper or whatever it is that you're modeling and you'll resharpen it back to being a brand new blade again i'm going to demonstrate to you now a kind of reverse psychology or use by showing you one of the diamond grinding, cutting things, whatever you want to call it, sharpening stone, although obviously it's not a stone. So you draw it out and screw the cap back on so that it's now extended. It just means it's smaller for putting in your pocket and use exactly the same principle, but in reverse in that you basically move the stone over the knife rather than knife over the stone. And it's the same process of drawing it across with gentle strokes 
equal numbers of strokes on both sides and then lastly do a couple of strokes on each side to get rid of the little burrs that might have appeared by grinding it away all on one side and once you've done that give it a go on a test piece of paper to see if you've been effective and use the right angle and the right oh dear yeah it, not really yeah so I'm going to demonstrate this now rather than for the video how I really do it which is holding it steady on the table and putting a bit of energy a bit of force in my right hand and actually grinding some material off the steel and now you can see how quickly and effective that really is simples save yourself a packet don't buy so many knives and always have a sharp one at hand by giving it a few strokes across a sharpening stone that's it from me and i'll see you in the next vid bit happy modeling and ciao for now Thank you.